Hey everyone, it's your favorite pastry, and welcome back to my playthrough of Fallout 4, You Only Live Once. As you can see, we're standing in front of a brand new custom made shack, and a, str and a handsome stranger. And if you haven't guessed by now, I'm also playing Some Settlements 2. Last time, I kind of forgot to go over the requirements of the YOLO challenge run. They're pretty straightforward. I have to beat the entire game as well as all of the major DLCs, which includes Nuka World, Automatron, and Far Harbor. There's also the vault Tech DLC, but I'm swapping it out for Sim Settlements 2, which is going to be a pain, because Sim Settlements 2 continues on after the main quest. Or sorry, the main game. Now, before we head to Concord, I'm going to do some upgrading. Almost on every single playthrough, I always pick Gun Nut 1 as my first perk. The reason is simple. If you go over to our lovely workbench here, go to our receiver. The highest damage I can get without Gun Nut 1 is the hardened is a hardened 10 mm pistol, pistol, which boosts the damage to 23. If I went with Gunslinger, 20% of 23 is basically an extra 5 damage. Which is basically the same as this. So to me, they're pretty similar. And then I can upgrade any other ballistic weapon I want. But I am missing materials. So I'll be right back as I scrap the entire settlement. And I'm back. When scrafting, I remembered that there's the I Am Special book. And we're going to put one point into intelligence. The reason is simple. I'm going to slowly boost this to 6 with the bobblehead back in, in the library so I can get the science perks. And while I'm here, I'm going to help myself to Grodnak the Barbarian and Jungle of the Bat Babies. Because why not? Hopefully this is enough to upgrade the pistol. I am one adhesive short still. Gosh darn it. While exploring, we there are a couple of rad roaches. We're just going to use that good old aim and fire technique with fats. There we go. Two extra meat. Lovely. And an oil can. Do you have adhesive? No, you have a dirty black suit. Excuse me, kind stranger. Ooh. Nuka cherry. Won't mind if I do. A new saddler. And Medex. So, because Medex doesn't add health and just adds damage resistance, it's one of the few drugs I can have in this game without any consequences. And there you are. And one more. Ooh. Aluminium and asbestos. I'm going to need a lot of asbestos in this run. Because wouldn't you believe it, all of the plot types need asbestos. Literally all of them, and I'm always running out of them on my other playthroughs. 
So I'm going to be picking up every, ah, there we go, finally. Every single fire extinguisher and cigarette pack, packet. And finally, I can cook some meat. Mmm. Delicious flies and radroche meat. Yum yum, my favorite. There we go. Powerful receiver. Finally. Can I make anything else? Probably not, because I need adhesive, and I have no adhesive. And I can scrap you, because I don't need you anymore. And get rid of all of my extra junk. Not that. I'm hanging on to pre-war money, as in this game, it still counts as money. Because you can sell it for caps. I think it's 3 caps per pre per unit, which isn't too bad. And I can boost that with various perks. Alright, this trash can always has fragmentation grenades for some reason. No clue why. And I got some fusion cells out of it too. More stim packs for selling, bottle caps, extra meat, lovely. Ooh. This run is blessed so far. Absolutely blessed. I say that as I'm going to be facing off against some mole rats. And some blood bugs. Oh, these flowers right here are the bane of my existence. If you stand too close to them, to them for too long, they emit radiation. And as you can guess, I can't heal radiation. And I am hungry, so I'm just going to take care of that right now. Thank you, Yang. Ah. Dog meat. Now, dog meat is very interesting in terms of the companion rule set. While he does take up a companion slot, the game does not count him as a companion for perks. So, is he a companion or is he not a companion? I'm going to do some rule lawyering and say that he isn't actually a companion and take him some time. But not today. He'll hang around here, which I think should be fine. Ah. Ooh, 23. And bottle caps. Oh my, the game is just giving me everything. This run is blessed so far. And when are the Molorats going to show up? I'd like to take care of them sooner than later, game. There they are. Any minute now. I think they can't come up here because this is counts as concrete.
Oh, sorry, let me be more clear. This concrete pad doesn't count as dirt, so Mulrots can't come up, crawl out of it. So it's a nice little safe haven. Ooh, teeth. Teeth is a ing key ingredient in making, believe it or not, oil. It's probably why they're still considered luxury bones, because the US wants to try and extract oil out of them. Or something like that. Just gonna cook up some mole rat chunks. Excuse me, handsome stranger. This run has been blessed so far. Absolutely blessed. I wonder, can I upgrade this with a better site? I can. There we go. Glow sites. Makes it a little bit easier for me to see where the sites are. Now, there's a little trick that I want to see if I can do. I can. Excellent. So, go to the very edge and place a gun turret. And then aggro some of these blood bugs. Okay, that was way closer than it should have been. And we're going to grab dog meat. And do the most heartbreaking thing and dismiss him. But we'll leave him at Red Rocket Truck Stop. That way then he's close by. And I'm going to treat Red Rocket Truck Stop as my main base on the north side. Brahmin meat. Oh man, this run truly is blessed. Usually it's leather for me. And we're going to go into here. Because quantum. Ooh, also sugar bombs. I need them for a quest later on. Yes. Quantum refreshes my action points really quickly. And for my next level up, Lone Wanderer. Produces incoming damage by 15%, which is absolutely amazing. Now, I'm a little scared about proceeding forward, so we're just gonna skirt around. Yeah. I didn't mention what I got. Do that in a minute. And go talk to Carla and then trash can Ju No, trash can Carla and Trudy. There we go. Get my NPCs wrong. Now, what is my perception? Eight with the gear. Oh, that won't do at all. Ooh, do I risk taking on the raiders? That's right. There is a house over here that I can sneak into. I'll meet you there.
All right, I'm back. This house here, on the far north eastern corner. It is guaranteed to have a pipe bolt action sniper rifle on the second floor. But more importantly, it has a scope. Ooh, and armor. There we go. No ammo for it. Thankfully, I found those 10 rounds earlier. And some free drugs. <clears throat> yep. Darn it. Fallout 3's control scheme is still in my uh, mind. Now, does give me, does it have a snipe, a silencer, but it does have a scope. And that didn't kill them in one shot. That is worrying. Oh, that is super worrying. Oh no. I'm used to taking these raiders out in one shot. Especially with a weapon like this. Sneak behind the car and... Quickly reload. Okay, if I have it right, it's just the guys with the pool cues. And wouldn't you believe it, I forgot to put my armor on. Short laser musket. Just gonna loot these raiders, because sometimes... They have extra armor that I can use. Oral. Make sure that's everybody. Man, geez, the game's just giving me rataways. And up here, because caps, ammo. Ooh, I was really hoping for a Christmas boosting hat. There are Christmas boosting sunglasses by Red Rocket in the little tunnel there. But it requires me to face off against mole rats, and I'm a little scared of facing against mole rats right now, can you believe it? Let's put on my armor pieces though. Oh, yes. Things I picked up. I picked up a casual outfit, a couple dirty black suits, t-shirt and slack, and most importantly, a lab coat. Lab coats would be useful because it boosts my intelligence by two points, which helps with experience gain when I turn in quests, as I'm not going to be using the Idiot Savant like what most other playthroughs, or most other YOLO runs. Now, do you have a hat? 
she does have a hat and a minimal outfit. All right, we're all set to go to Trudy now. It's a very important reason why I'm going to Trudy so early. If you watched other YOLO runs, I think you already know why. Okay, looks like there's nobody here but us three. Put on the dirty black suit. Make sure to... Uh, make sure to put my armor back on after I'm done talking to the trash can Carla. Now you always want to pick the sarcastic option. Which means canonically I am Isabella is Oh god. Runs not blessed, runs not blessed. Oh god. Uh, this might be the end of the run. Oh, no. Oh, no. This run was not blessed. Well, since we're so early into the run, I'm going to just restart the entire run. On that bombshell, I'll see you again next week while we, when we finally restart the full run. Until next time, I'm rooting for you.